Want to impress someone, but your old boombox strategy has become too cliché? Not to toot our own horn, but we might have just found the perfect instruments that are sure to make your lady love swoon. Handsome! That is, if you ever learn how to play them. Let's dabble in these 10 strangest musical instruments. What's up, Fagnatics? This is Discovery Amuse, serving up your daily dose of the most outrageous, outlandish, and out-of-this-world fun facts. Be sure to stay tuned for our number one pick that might just make you play a concertos like nobody's business, as long as you know the difference between rushing or dragging. One, two, three, four. Rushing or dragging? Rushing. So you do know the difference! Number 10, Hyrophone. Goodness gracious, look at those great balls of fire. Also known as the fire organ, the pyrophone was invented by Strasbourg, born musician and physicist Frederick Kastner in 1873. As the name implies, it's basically an instrument that creates notes through explosions and rapid combustions encased in traditional organ pipes. When Kastner learned that a hydrogen flame positioned at the bottom of a glass tube produces a note, he combined this knowledge with his musical know-how to invent what he hoped to be the next lit instrument to set the world ablaze. However, the pyrophone didn't quite spread like wildfire back in his day. Fast forward to the 21st century. This experimental instrument was reimagined by musician Steve Langton in 2008 when he built a phantasmagorical larger-than-life version of the pyrophone and made it the centerpiece of this one-of-a-kind festival performance art. It weighs about six tons. It takes three days for a crew of five people to put up, including uh, light and sound. His creation, called the Pyrophone Juggernaut, is a massive ship-shaped organ that's dubbed the largest hand-operated multi-octave fire organ on the planet. Wow, that's indeed one huge organ you got there, mate. <laughs> yeah, boy. Keep watching because our number one pick literally crosses the line between strange and brilliant. Number nine, singing Tesla coil. Nope, your ears are not fooling you. Those first few bars of the White Stripes' Seven Nation Army were actually played using electricity. Science definitely rocks. The singing Tesla coil, otherwise known as the Zeusophone, is made up of a variety of Tesla coils that have been modified to produce musical tones by modulating its spark output using a software or an instrument like a keyboard or guitar. The tones are a result of the passage of spark through the air. Tesla coils were first used as a musical instrument by Illinois electrical engineering student Steve Ward in his performance at a 2007 science fiction convention. However, its most famous appearance was in Disney's 2010 film The Sorcerer's Apprentice, where it was used to play secrets by One Republic to, well, impress a girl. If you, Boo, isn't utterly shocked by this electric performance, I don't know what will. Number 8. Picasso and Medusa Wait, what? Is that a guitar within a guitar? Well, obviously... What Inception-like musical sorcery is this? ICYMI multiple Grammy Award winner Pat Metheny is a legendary guitar player who wanted to level up his guitar game even further. So in 1984, he asked Canadian master Ludier Linda Manzer to make him a guitar with quote unquote as many strings as possible. And his wish was Manzer's command. Presenting the Picasso, an over-the-top guitar that has 42 strings arranged in four sections, including a hexaphonic pickup enabling Metheny to create sound effects using his synthesizer. Be rad is rad! And in case you're still doubting Manzer's guitar-making genius, she also made another customized multi-string acoustic guitar called the Medusa, commissioned by a Danish guitarist named Henrik Andersen. 
The Medusa has 52 strings in total, has a wedged body and features Alaskan armrest for a comfortable strumming experience. But if we're being honest, comfortable would probably be the last thing to describe this musical bad boy. Actually, let's not kid ourselves. <laughs> this instrument is very complicated. Number seven, the Marble Machine. Looking at this uber-complicated musical machine, you're probably thinking its inventor has totally lost his marbles. Are you crazy? Are you out of your mind? Created by Swedish Folktronica musician Martin Molin, the Marble Machine is a colossal box that uses marbles to play various musical instruments. The machine is powered by a manual crank that raises 5,000 steel marbles from a certain height via programmable release gates. These marbles fall and strike different musical instruments incorporated in the machine, including a vibraphone, bass guitar, cymbal, and simulated drums using contact microphones. In his YouTube channel, Mullen shows the different ways he modifies the marble machine to create various sounds however he wanted. It's literally like playing with a puzzle with its incredible woodwork while creating music like a one-man band. Awesome. Awesome to the max. Number six, Earth Harp. Oh, wonderful, another Seven Nation Army cover. Never gets old. Now, this version is brought to you by the grand musical slash architectural masterpiece that is the Earth Harp. Invented by William Close in 2000, at its core, the Earth Harp is a string instrument that makes use of the environment as part of its setup. The title comes from the first time I invented this instrument, when I mounted a series of chambers on one side of a canyon and ran the strings clear across to the other side, turning that canyon into a giant harp. The strings are mounted onto a theater's balcony on a structural landmark where it is being played. William then pinches the string and runs his hand along to produce the notes. The strings can run anywhere from 100 to 1,000 feet, making it the world's largest string instrument. William's group, the Earth Harp Collective, has traveled all over the world and has played in some of the world's greatest landmarks such as the Shanghai Grand Theater, Seattle Space Needle, and even the Colosseum in Rome. And everywhere he goes, he literally takes people to church. It's, it sounds like I'm in a cathedral when I play. It's just really beautiful. Number five, great stalactite organ. At once seductive and spooky, the great stalactite organ is located inside the Luray Caverns in Virginia. It was designed and implemented by Leland W. Sprinkle in 1956 and creates sounds by rhythmically striking 37 different stalactites. The area that the strikers cover is roughly three and a half acres which then makes it literally the world's largest musical instrument. It took Mr. Sprinkle three years to create this instrument, finding and shaving stalactites to produce specific notes. Each note is sounded by stalactites, stricken by mallets activated by pressing the instrument's keyboard. Wow, so it's, the music's not coming out of here, it's coming from the entire cavern. Yeah. Exactly, when I touch one of the notes, it goes throughout the caverns to one specific formation, which actually amplifies right back here at the cathedral. The music emanating from the caverns sure is hauntingly beautiful. I'm just hoping these caves aren't actually haunted. Number four, Singing Ringing Tree. Somebody get Wes Craven on the phone because I have his next horror movie soundtrack. Built in 2006, the Singing Ringing Tree is another instrument that creates music with a little help from Mother Nature herself. It's a three meter tall structure that's part musical instrument, part art installation, and part tourist landmark in Burnley's English Town. It resembles a tree that's made out of 322 galvanized steel pipes arranged in layers that harness the wind's power to produce slightly inharmonious choral sounds covering several octaves. The tube's ability to sing was made by tuning them according to their length and adding holes to their underside. Who knew Mother Earth could carry a tune? Absolutely serious. I've never ever heard anything like that in my life. Number three, sea organ. Oh, 
What is that sound I'm hearing? Eso que oís es el órgano marino de Zadar. Oh, hey, thanks, man. Located in the city of Sadar in Croatia, the sea organ harnesses the power of waves coming from the Adriatic Sea to create various whistling sounds. The sea organ was designed by Croatian architect Nikola Basic and was opened to the public in April of 2005. White marble steps were built concealing 35 polyethylene pipes and a resonating cavity like a usual organ. When waves crash into the steps, the air is pushed through the pipes and creates different sounds. The beauty with it is that since no wave is ever the same, the music created is also unique every single time. What's more, when the sun sets, you can enjoy the aquatic symphony with this cool light show powered by solar panels. Waves, sunset, and dancing lights? Sounds music to my ears. Fantastic. Number two, theremin. I'll be first to admit that when I first saw this man on America's Got Talent, I was like, what the heck is going on? An instrument you'd play without touching? And then I did some digging and found out that this instrument actually dates back to 1920, and it's quite versatile too. possibilities are as endless as the strings are invisible. Russian physicist and engineer Leon Theremin, who invented this touchless instrument in 1920, also eventually created spyware for communist Russia. The sound is created by manipulating the antenna's electromagnetic fields through hand movements. The sound produced is like the eerie warbling of a violin, or as I'd like to describe it, like tub-thumping mosquitoes. But when done correctly, it can sound as epic as this. Now, before we go to our number one pick, do us a solid and make sure to smash the subscribe button and hit that notification bell. Don't forget to choose all so you won't miss any of our latest life-changing boredom-busting content. And of course, be sure to turn on notifications in your app settings. Number one, Musical Road. From Denmark and California to Japan and South Korea, Musical Roads have struck a chord with drivers who like a different kind of road trip jam. The best part is zero musical talent is required. Musical roads have been in existence as early as 1995, the first of which was the Asphaltophone, created in Denmark, that played an arpeggio in the key of F major. These singing streets have special grooves carved into them that, when driven over, produce vibrations heard within the car and its surroundings in the form of a musical tune. The car must be driven at a consistent speed to create the selected music. Drivers must also hit the grooves head-on to get all the notes in full volume. Let's see if you can name this tune. On Route 66 in New Mexico, musical roads are used to actually encourage motorists to drive within speed limits. Nice! All you have to do is reduce your speed to 45 miles an hour, then aim for a strip on the right side of the road, and... Voila! America the Beautiful! So, which of these kick-ass instruments would you like to try your hand or your wheels at? Let us know in the comments section below. Take home any of our exclusive gear by browsing our merch shelf or clicking the link in the video description. Oh, and while you're at it, take our quiz to find out how you can earn extra cash online doing what you do best. Awesome, right? Now, here's something that will surely rattle your eardrums. Check out our list of the 10 scariest sounds on Earth. Till then, keep on learning, Factnatics, and see you in the next video.